Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate. Um, and I'm going to be doing the same process that I've been doing. Uh, at some point, I'm going to stop showing the uh, the sheets here on the uh, the free YouTube videos. Um, it's just something that that the uh, premium subscribers pay for, so I'm going to have to stop that. But I'll still allude to them, but um, it seems only fair. Uh, nonetheless, we've been having a really good hockey season. And, and the other day, um, this, this doesn't happen too often. We we highlighted, you know, the best plays that were on the sheets and somehow the top plays and the top stack, which was is it just incredibly easy to build and to see, ended up all going off at under 10% ownership and smashed. I ended up I ended up ruining every other part of the lineup except for the main stack, which cost me first. But even so, I still got like third or fourth in the in the big one. Uh, it won the three thirty three on fan, on on DraftKings for like two thousand or something like that. And again, that doesn't happen too often because usually the the top plays are also going to be obviously ones that are going to be decently owned. But this this particular occasion, the LA Kings from a few nights ago were very very low owned somehow. So we're going to continue. to utilize the same process that we always do. So what we're going to start with again are the team totals. And based on the team totals, we're going to attempt to predict which team is going to generate the most fantasy points because usually fantasy points are correlated really, really nicely with goals. Um, and then we'll see if, if the players themselves are, are good plays given their salaries, which is where we bring the sheets up. So then what we're going to do is build kind of a, a single entry lineup based on what we see um, on the sheets. And then we're going to build a lineup using SaberSim or a, few, a bunch of them using SaberSim. And uh, we're, we're onto something pretty nice here. So let's just keep this going. So let's just first look at the, at the team totals. And we're going to look at, um, what's this? I don't, I don't see where these things are coming from. But I don't want to play picture in picture and so on. Oh, here they are. So using Daily Roto, uh, we're going to use a couple of sites. So I'm looking at the implied team totals. You see Washington with a 3-8, Toronto with a 3-8, Edmonton with a 4, and LA with a 4. So it looks as though the four winners, right, the four big favorites, are the teams that you're going to want to play. Um, and they all look very, very close. Um, so Edmonton, LA, Toronto, and Washington, that's according to, to Daily Roto. Now, when you look at Sabersim, you have a little bit of a different look, I guess. You have Toronto or Washington at 3-5, LA at 3-2, and Edmonton at 4-0. So Sabersim actually has Edmonton as a much big has a has a much bigger gap between Edmonton and the other teams. Um, something to think about. I don't have the uh the, the daily fat face off projections up here. I'm a little bit annoyed with the way they're presenting their stuff nowadays. But well, you know, I'll, I'll give them I'll give them some more some more leash and some more some more uh, some more looks. Nonetheless, um, like even when you go to their site and you can't even access the projections without like knowing this incredibly complicated backdoor to to get there, even for the free stuff. So anyway, um, so we're looking we're going to be looking at either Edmonton. LA, Toronto, and Washington as our main stack. And we're going to see if, you know, if, if, if the plays, you know, uh, can build us good lineups. Um, just because a team's going to score doesn't mean that the salaries are conducive to good lineup builds. So let's take a look. So these are uh, the sheets, again, usually uh, available just for premium subscribers. I'm sharing these guys with you today. Um, and we are rating them by sheets value score, which is the best combination of both ups about of, of raw fantasy points and value that I can come up with. Um, and that's listed here under column G. You have ownership projections as well. And on K and L, we have uh, even straight line and projected power play line. And again, what we're trying to do with this with this sheet that we're looking at is literally just gaze at it and see if something just stands out. In other words, we're looking for a glut of players from the same team that all rate high. Um, and with any luck, they're not only from the same team, but they're also from the same line, either EV line or power play not line, or even better, both. So there's two things that I notice. I'm sure everybody notices the same thing when I look at this. 
two things. Number one, Edmonton. One, two, three. Bang. Okay. Two of the top, three of the top 10 values are all from Edmonton. And while they're not all on the same even strength line, they are all on the same power play. So that that's that's a good start. All three Edmontons. Another thing, though, to notice right off the bat is all kinds of L.A. Okay, forget the goalie for a minute. Um, you have Kemp or Kempi, Fiala, Villardi, and Arvidsson, all in this top group. And when you look at this, you have Kempi, he's a 1-1. Fiala is a 3-1. Villardi is a 3-1. Arvidsson is the one guy that is just not part of the same line. So it's not perfect, but it doesn't take long to get down to, to Kopitar as a 1-1. So for me, on this kind of small slate, the first thing I'm looking at are those two teams. Uh, Edmonton playing that top power play line or and or, right, L.A. playing all those dudes. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up again a, a lineup uh, builder here. But this is the bad, I guess. Um, and see which what builds nicely, okay? And what's interesting is both those main games are coming from the late games. You know, I love that. Um, so let's look at Edmonton first. Let's just see if we can build this. So we go uh, McDavid, dry sidles down to 7,900, which is going to be helpful. And then Hyman uh, at wing, be right there. And again, uh, first thing I want to do also, I want to put a goalie in, and I want to put in a the cheapest goalie I have that rates well. Quick is eight K. Kemper seventy nine hundred. Reamer is seventy two hundred, but we might be playing Kings against him. But but for the for the Edmonton stack, we can do this. So let's put in Reamer. For this one, obviously we don't want to play him with the Edmonds with the with his the uh, with the King stacks. We'll put we'll put Reamer in here. And the problem here, right off the bat, as you can see, is that you're only left with 3,700 a man if you want to do this. Um, so the first thing I'd want to do is first of all, let's just see if there's any good one-offs here that are cheap, and I don't really see much. I mean, you know what you see? You see this guy. This is actually kind of interesting. Sisek is one of the top point per dollar plays, and he's only 2,500. And he actually correlates pretty well with the, the goalie on San Jose. So let's put him in. And now at 4K a man, maybe you can make this work. Um, let's see who else in the Edmonton power play. So you get... Nugent Hopkins at 6,200. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I think you're asking for it, trying to get him in. Let's see. Nugent Hopkins. Now you're at 3,200 a man. Ugh. It's going to be tough. I mean, you can definitely do it, though. Um, they have Tyson Barry as well. You get him in too, and now we're really squinting. Close your eyes. Now uh, you can't quite do all of this because you can't really build a full five man at Edmonton without really making a lot of concessions here. Um, so uh it seems as though the probably the easier thing to do is go back to LA. Um, so let's first, wait, what happened here? Oh, okay. Something's wrong with my cell. Not a big deal. Okay. Anyway, um, so we have Kemp, Fiala. Let's take a look and see what, what power play line these guys are on again. So it was Kemp, Fiala, and Velarde first. So let's put those guys in first. Fiala, Kemp, 
Velarde, and we said we'd go to Kopitar. So we go to Kopitar, and this is just much easier, right? I mean, this builds, this this, this thing builds itself, you know, yeah. and, and um, let's go to, let's go to Sabres and let's look at, not Sabres, let's look at uh, Daily Roto's assessment of what power play, who's on the power play here for LA. Um, Fiala, Kemp, Kopitar, Velarde, and you could play our friend Drew Doughty again at defense. This is this is what worked for us the other day. So we go bam, this five man just like that. Just I think this is the same guys we did last time, and maybe we didn't play uh, Arvidsson. Um, and this you could pretty much do whatever you want. You know, you could play if you want. You could play goalie. You could play quick and over correlate the goalie, or you could play Toronto. I mean, literally whatever you want to do, you know, play um, play the Toronto goalie, play the Toronto goalie, whatever. And then if you want, you can you could screw around. You, you know what you could do? Look at this. You you could do. You want to go back to some guys in that power play line? You could play Nugent Hopkins. You could play back to Tyson Berry. You know, you could you could play a five-two with LA and then Edmonton like this, and and do this extremely easily with one run, one off in fifty-seven hundred. So it looks as though LA is is the nuts. You know, as far as what stack you're supposed to play, especially if you're hand building. Um, let's just look at Toronto here because you do have Matthews rated high, but that's pretty much it. You know, you have to go all the way down. Well. Yeah, Morgan Riley and Marner. Well, you so you can do that. You could do a Toronto stack. So why don't we well, let's try that? Toronto, we're looking at Matthews, Tavares, hold on. Matthews, Tavares, Marner, and Riley. And then once again, we'll play a goalie. We're probably going to have to play the L.A. guys, but you can do this, right? So play uh, Kempe and and um, Velarde like this. Play some goalie. I mean, who do you want to play? I mean, you name it. Play you play um play the play play the play the Edmonton uh, the the uh, Anaheim goalie. So we're facing a lot of shots, and then you can fill this in with thirty seven fifties if you want. So. I think you can play Toronto pretty nicely. You can play the Kings pretty nice. I think Edmonton's going to be difficult to get to. Um, so let's now go to Saberson and see what you would get if you had Saberson build for you. And see, you think they can get they can do a better job of finding a way to get Edmonton in? We'll find out. So we're going to build uh, let's build 150. Why not? We'll build 150 lineups. 20 max builds. It's a four, only a four game slate. So you might see some screwy, you know, combinations. Well, let's just see in general what type of snacks we get. Snacks, what type of stacks we get. Here, yeah, like all the LA. Pretty much. Um, and it does get a decent amount of Edmonton as well. But as you see, I mean, it's just so easy to play all these kings that it's going to do a lot. Of that. Like here, you get. 72% Kings. Um, and if I if listen, if Saberson's getting 72% Kings, then a lot of people are getting 72% Kings. So it's possible that they're gonna be way too high owned. Um, in which case, then you're gonna want to probably go to Toronto um, as the next best. But you do see you get like 50% Edmonton. Um the other thing you'll notice again, especially with the four man four game slates, is that you don't get that many five twos and four threes. You get a little more, uh, you know, non traditional stacks, and that's pretty pretty common in all sports. So at baseball, you'll get this as well. Um, so that's eh, something to keep in mind. Uh, I might just x out some of these. I I don't know if I can get away with literally a three two you know, to win a GPP or a 2-2-2 two, two, two to win a GPP or a 2-2 two, two, or even a three flat. I might go down to like just a 4-0. That's about as speculative as I will get them. I want them to be a little bit better correlated than something like, you know, 3-0 or something like that. 
So that is pretty much going to be the overview for tonight. You know, again, I encourage you all to go through this exact same procedure, but closer to lock. And the whole thing, I'm listening, if you have all these sheets kind of done for you and you know what you're doing, you can build like a good handful of lineups, both single entry and MME in about 15 minutes. Um, and I'm not saying you're going to win, but you're, you're probably going to have a good portfolio of EV lineups. Um, so that'll do it. Uh, good luck, everybody. And again, I encourage everybody to come at 6 p.m. for the live stream where I go over kind of late developments. And I obviously encourage everybody to like, like, subscribe to these videos. And if you do play daily fantasy sports and, you know, play regularly and you want this advice you know, uh, on, a, on a bigger scale, um, please uh, subscribe to True DFS. I'm sure there is a uh, promo that there's out there that you can get it, you know, cheap for the first month or something like that. But in any case, um, it's 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 a good it's a good good thing to learn and a good thing to wager on and. Uh, Certainly a lot of fun for me to do this content. Uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.